I 42 meters have been waiting 4 years to divorce my wife 44 F, but now she is dependent on me. Wife and I are married with two kids. One son 19 years old and a daughter that is 18. About 4 years ago I discovered my wife had an affair with a mutual friend of ours. At the time everything in our marriage seemed to be going perfectly, we were happy, had a decent s time life nothing that would indicate any dissatisfaction. After I found out, I confronted her about it, she admitted to everything was apologetic. Turns out the affair went on for 4 months, and they broke it off a week before I found out about it. After finding out I couldn't look at my wife the same. I didn't want anything to do with her, if we didn't have children I would have divorced her on the spot. But, I love my kids and the idea of being a part-time dad and only seeing them every other weekend or some ridiculous arrangement like that I wasn't okay with. I told my wife, she can sleep with whomever she wants to sleep with because I honestly have no interest in ever sleeping with her again. Every time my wife tried to initiate s time, I just get feelings of disgust. Wife was apologetic for the rest of our marriage but I couldn't bring myself to it. We did go for marriage counseling but there was nothing to be learned from there. They tried to convince us that we needed to be intimate with each other again and that we could fix our marriage. I tried but I couldn't bring myself to it, just the idea of her being with our friend just drove me crazy I kept imagining the other guy. I couldn't do it. I told her that there is an expiration date on our marriage that as soon as our youngest daughter is off and away I am done with her. Days became a routine where I'd come home put a smile on for the kids, do my share of the chores and then go to bed. About a month ago, wife got into a car accident and now she has problems with her spine. She is restricted to a wheelchair. Looking at it, she probably will never be able to walk again. She needs me to carry her up the stairs and help her about with just about everything. I had plans on leaving her now I feel like if I leave my family will look at me as a monster for leaving his wife when she needs him the most. I don't know what to do I have been in a s timeless marriage for over 4 years with a person I have no feelings for. A person whom I look and just get feelings of betrayal and sadness. No one in my family knows of the affair, I didn't want to tarnish my wife's reputation. Even though she betrayed me she is still the mother to my two children and I didn't want them to think less of her. I posted on another subreddit, and it seems that everyone is encouraging me to talk to my kids about it. Hopefully incorporate my wife into that conversation as well. TL doctor wife cheated on me earlier in our relationship. I decided to stay with her for the sake of family and leave her when the kids graduate from high school. Wife is now dependent on me and can't leave. Update. I 42 meters have been waiting 4 years to divorce my wife 44 F, but now she is dependent on me. First of all I want to thank all of you guys for letting me share my story. Seriously, just typing this all up made me feel much better and your responses all were nice to see. So not much really happened I just wanted to share what happened I talked to my wife about our future. I told my wife, that I am still planning on getting a divorce after our daughter leaves. She starts trying to guilt trip me telling me that I need to forgive her and work towards building our relationship. She tells me that for the past 4 years she has been trying and I haven't been receptive. I told her that she was also the one that destroyed it in the first place so she isn't really doing anything noble. I told her that I forgive her, but that doesn't make me love her again. I told her that the only reason I have any care for her is because she is the mother of my children. I told her that I'll make sure she is taken care of. Wife kept refusing telling me that we can make our marriage work, we can go to counseling again. I told her that my decision is final. We talked about talking to our kids about the infidelity. We won't go into details on who the other man was, but that they are old enough to understand why we are splitting up. Our son is coming back for Thanksgiving break and hopefully then we can discuss it together as a family. We also talked about future arrangements, we talked about selling the house. Wife didn't want to do that but I told her that there is no point in having a big house if she is going to be the only one living it. She stated that this was our family's house and she doesn't want to give that up. We talked about physical therapy and what independence she might have in the future. I asked her if the guy she cheated on me with would be interested in taking care of her. She got really mad at me yelled, and then we went to bed. I don't know just after reading the post and writing this I am in a good mood. There are some other things I didn't mention in the previous thread. 
First of all I do have somewhat of a plan after I divorce my wife. There is this woman I met through my work, she works at a satellite office in the UK I plan on meeting with her soon after the divorce. I met her about 8 months ago or so. We don't share sexual conversations we just talk online mainly and I confide to her about my marriage. I don't know if we are going to form a relationship, she is much younger than me, doesn't have nearly any of the baggage I have, but she has been receptive when it comes to talking to me. So that's something I have to look forward to. Thanks again guys. I will probably post another update after Thanksgiving. TL doctor talked to my wife about leaving. She still wants to repair the marriage. I have no desire to do so. Story 2. My wife wants to renegotiate the terms of our marriage. Without going into too much detail with our past, my wife and I are at a bit of a crossroads with our marriage. Long story short, there has been a history of insecurity and trust issues on my part due to various instances of her emotional cheating, sending inappropriate photos and messages to guys, both known to her and not, and generally a lack of mutual respect of boundaries. My wife openly admits to mental health issues, and in the past has seen this behavior as she has something wrong with her, goes to counseling, I'm given what seems partial access to her phone, things get better with time. As this has happened about 3-4 times in a 5-year marriage, there is an obvious cycle and pattern. While we and only we set the rules and boundaries for our marriage, we both went into this marriage with clear expectations around acceptable behavior, or so I thought. Her previous husband encouraged this side of her, and I made it pretty clear I wasn't up for it. I'm a pretty black and white kinda guy with old fashioned values. She's a bit more spontaneous and grey with her thoughts and feelings. She recently asked if we could try a tea resum I said I'm not interested. We had a great run for about 18 months, but what's different this time is rather than her trying to fix something, her psychologist has asked if she'd embrace these thoughts and has asked if I would consider renegotiating what is acceptable. I've told her many times that there's nothing wrong with having fleeting desires, but she needed to be really clear on what is a need and a want. We sat down last night and talked over many things. She said she's thought about what her grey area looks like, and wanted to reassure me she does not want to open the marriage, does not want to sleep with other people, nothing sexual with anyone. She does however want to feel less judged, but also know I'd be okay if she flirted with people to keep building her confidence. There was other things, but she feels she would only focus on telling me the things she won't do as opposed to what she would. I wouldn't be privy to what those are. She then proceeds to tell me that she had three guys in the space of two months recently willing to sleep with her. Her reassurance here was that if she wanted out of the marriage she would have considered it, however on the flip side tells me she would never go through with it. She values everything about me as a person, values our marriage and children etc. Which lead her to this renegotiation. Considering my own personal history of being cheated on by my first wife, all of this has really pushed me to the brink. I'm struggling to see any benefit out of this that takes my needs also into consideration. All I see here is her trying to get me to accept this is who she is, and that her needs are more important than mine. I told her I'm not willing to stay married if it's purely out of comfort. I'm quite aware of the term cake eater, and I'm struggling to see how any of my needs are being put on the table. We're quite aware that no one can give anyone else complete fullness in their lives, but the difference is I'm the type of person who just accepts it for what it is, whereas she has a need to fulfill any gaps. Would really appreciate any insight or ways I could calm my thoughts or ways forward. Couples counseling is one however she's told me she needs to continue focusing on herself. There's likely more I could say, but we'll add more as needed. Update my wife wants to renegotiate our marriage. Part 1. Thanks to everyone in this community for the kick in the ass I so sorely needed. A little bit of an update for those interested. I had been second guessing myself since posting part 1 on the weekend. Eventually we got to a point where I was actually comfortable laying ass it raw and honest with her. We talked for over 3 hours, she blame shifted constantly, still believes her not ducking anyone is her compromise. But it runs way deeper than that. Her issues are incurable and a disease of the mind. Trickle truths and a massive compromise on my behalf saw us in an informal renegotiation. But, it didn't ease my mind one nuance. I wanted to give myself some time to own my feelings, however my gut wasn't letting me. I ended it last night. No remorse from her. 
No emotion. I've since found out she's been using her burner work phone since June to continue to disrespect me in our marriage. Some moron she's run into at a coffee shop, a teacher, DCK pics, his face, full-blown s-sing, a hilarious photo of someone sitting in a car pointing camera at a dumpster in an alley a place to duck, apologies over arguments, and more. Shit an actual couple would deal with, not this fantasy world. Pretty sure this is one of the guys she could have ducked but said she didn't. There was a I cannot go through with this message, unsure who sent it as the chat history is ridiculously confusing, deleted messages, forwards from her other phone of screenshots etc. This morning snooped phone again and she still forwarded a DCK pic he sent from last night onto her other phone after I ended it. This, plus her need to post daily to a private Facebook group of over 400,000 guys and gals basically weeding out duck partners for each other. Bottom feeders who think it's hot and okay to objectify each other. And. She. Likes. It. 400,000 people who get her lingerie seductive and practically naked photos before her husband does. Her asking single and desperate guys to inbox her, there's my ducking concrete, and it happened on a Wednesday, I have photos of the proof. Do I show her? Wasted time sure, but duck even a tiny piece of retribution at this point feels oh so right. Have faith in me on my long journey decoupling out of this absolute asset show.